Welcome back to What RT Nibs for General Disturbance. Uh, this is an M12, that's a tier 7 American SPG, and we're on the north spawn of Malinovka. And the name of the commander is Diving Duck. Now, what can we say about the M12? Well, there was only 160 of them made, uh, which is not that many. It was uh, supposed to uh, be uh, used in the Second World War in, in Europe, uh, on fortifications. It was supposed to be called the Door Knocker. Well, it was called the Door Knocker by the troops who used it. And it was supposed to knock down the gun emplacements and bunkers. Uh, but they actually used it for direct fire against some tanks and literally blew them to pieces. It had a, a First World War artillery piece. It's a 155mm howitzer based on a French design. But it was very effective. Right, now he's set up, he's ready to shoot, and there's a Skoda T-25 there. He aimed at it where he thought it was going to go, but unfortunately it moved forward just after he fired. And so unfortunately he's missed it. But I'm pretty sure that Skoda is still going to be there in a few seconds time. He has picked up some stun assist from stunning that T-25, so uh, uh, more than likely he'll uh, hit that uh, tank again. Tiger 1, hiding behind that house, not a very safe position. And it looks like he is going to move to the edge of that house to shoot. And I think Diving Duck's going to put a round into him. Lined him up, rounds out. Direct hit! 264 hit points, two critical hits. And he's now very unhappy. And he's getting more rounds going into him, so Diving Duck's picking up some stun assist on that. And the Tiger one's re retreating. <laughs> He's trying to get away, rounds out. And that's right into his rear. 247 hit points. And he's killed with the next shot. So he's picked up all the stun assist as well. Now, there is an enemy tank up on top of the hill near the windmill. A Wizzy 132 and a T-44. The Cromwell's gone up all alone. Uh, there is some support behind him and it forming the IS. And Diving Duck is now loaded. So he's shooting. And he splashes that Wizzy 132, but not before the Cromwell goes down. And they've also been joined by a Type 64. Now this could be a quite a dangerous force to, uh, to deal with. The Wizzy 132 and the Type are both light tanks which are very fast and very deadly. Now... Diving Duck's going to focus on the Wizzy 132, lining him up, rounds out, and that splashes him for 372. And he's gone down. He was taken out by the IS, but we've still got that T44 up there and the Type 64. And they're hiding behind the windmill, I think, using it for cover. The IS has been stunned, so he's probably been hit by enemy RT. Okay, there's the Type 58. And the T-29 has joined them. And the IS has been killed. But Diving Duck's ready to go on the Type 58. And it's a direct hit. 307 hit points. Leaves that Type on minimal hit points. Only 15 left. So he's not going to survive very long. And somebody only needs to nudge him and, uh, on a ram. And he's gone down. He was taken out by the FB-304. But we've got a T-29 there. Behind the trees. Rounds out. Direct hit again, 281 hit points. Diving Duck's getting some good shots in here. And there's an IS turned up next to the windmill. It looks like most of the enemy forces are here. And in fact, actually, our forces seem to, or Diving Duck's forces, have now invaded the enemy cap area, and there's only a Scorpion G defending that area. Okay, now he's lined up, ready to shoot, but we can't see the target. The Bert is retreating as quickly as he can. There's a T-44. Line up on that. Rounds out. Direct hit again. 284 and Diving Duck's moving back. He needs to get into cover now. The IS and the T-44 have stopped. But only in so far as they're facing now an OI. Who's holding the Abbey. Or rather the church. The ruined church. And Diving Duck's helping with support. And that's another splash hit on the IS. Only 90. 
for some reason RNG was not good on that one and the shell landed right in front of the IS, not on it. It was aimed at it, but it just refused to go near. Okay. Let's see if he can get this one in. I'm pretty sure he can. Rounds out. Oh, again! He's so unlucky. That shot was right in front of the IS. Splashed in for 166. Now, the T-44 doesn't seem to be getting engaged in this fight. He's loaded. Rounds out. Oh, this time it was much better. 299. It was a splash right in front of the IS. And it definitely did the business. And that IS is retreating because he's stunned. And he's also lost half his hit points. Probably suffering some module damage. He's loaded. Rounds out. And that went in. Directly in. And it looks like another shell from the Burt came in and hit him as well. I saw another shell loop into the uh, IS. Now our forces not only now control the enemy cap, but they're actually starting to come up the other side of the hill and box in the enemy forces. Diving Duck's moving backwards towards the water uh, because the IS and the Tiger are now moving ahead because the OI has been wiped out. Uh, he fires around and he takes out the IS with a splash. 214 hit points. That was very useful. But now that Tiger 1's coming directly for him. So I'm not sure if he's going to reload in time. He needs to reload. He's going to have to shotgun this Tiger 1. And I'm not sure. Oh, that was a hit. I'm not sure he's going to be ready in time. No, 252 hit points. It was a good shot, but... He's now suffering repeated hits. Oh, he drove straight past the Tiger. And probably the best thing he could do. Yes, and the Tiger's been taken out by the FP-304. Which is a very sound and kindly shot to save the uh, M12. He's now been stunned by the last remaining enemy, enemy an AMX-13 F3. Obviously, he was the last tank that was sighted by the Tiger-1. And I'm pretty sure that uh, air mix will be discovered very shortly. Now, I think he's actually down in the southeast corner. I agree with uh, with Diving Duck. He's down here because they never check this corner thoroughly. They seem to bypass it and head straight for the enemy tanks that are on the hill. And all of them have been wiped out, but the enemy RT wasn't found. He's in there somewhere. And they're all streaming south now. They realise that they, they did miss it. Diving Ducks indicated where he's looking. They will find the AMX-13 F3 very quickly. Unless, of course, he has made a sudden dash north back to uh, uh, our cap. But I think he's still in the picture. There he is, right in the corner. Dialed in, rounds out. And it splashes the AMX-13 F3 for 143. Uh, and he's killed immediately afterwards. So uh, that's a, a welcome addition to uh, uh, Diving Duck's uh, score. Let's have a look at the end of battle results. And it's an ace tanker for Diving Duck in the M12. He also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, crew incapacitations or module damage. And on top of that, he picked up a gauze medal. He did more damage, exceeding 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. He got a confederate because he hit more enemy than anyone else on his team. And he picked up the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle of all the tanks. Now, let's have a look at the uh, scores. Well, he got the highest damage, naturally, with the high, uh, high caliber. 3,078 hit points. Only just, though, the Type 5 almost beat him. Um, he got um, only one kill, unfortunately, out of all of that in the battle, but uh, that still puts him joint um, fourth on the uh, score list. And when it came to base XP, he was right at the top of the table, 1,374, which is a very high score indeed. 
He fired 15 rounds, got 6 direct hits, 6 penetration and 9 splash damage. Most of those splash damages were probably on the IFs actually. Um, he did 3,078 hit points of damage, of which 2,612 were at more than 300 metres. Uh, obviously the Tiger was a lot closer when he hit him. Um, he received two hits, two penetrations, both from the Tiger, and it's a miracle that he survived that. Um, he also received a hit as a result of splash damage from the MX-13 F3, so it must be very satisfying when at the end of the battle he actually took all, most of the hit points of that arty. He hit eight of the enemy but only killed one, but he did do stun assistance damage of 2,088 of 14 stuns. On a premium account he earned 59,286 credits. And after repair, ammunition resupply and consumables, he still had 18,170 credits spare, which is a good total. He received 2,061 XP and there was no multiplier, so that's all he took away. But yes, he got away with this by the skin of his teeth. He actually did the right thing. He actually drove past the Tiger. If he tried to ram the Tiger with his reduced uh, health and the fact that the tiger was a heavy tank he probably would have come off worse even though the m12 was actually built on the chassis of a medium tank with a reduced health he probably would have been wiped out uh, by the impact onto the heavy tank so driving past him was the right and the smart move because once you were past him he had to turn his turret all the way around to aim at you and of course then diving duck had the opportunity to uh, to move to one side and um, uh, work his way away from that tank whilst his teammates uh, uh, finished him off. So excellent, cool, clear-headed thinking to get away from the opponent as fast as you could by driving forward, not driving backwards. Because when you drive backwards, you're slow. When you go forwards, you're fast. And he drove as fast as he could past that Tiger. And that must have surprised the enemy when that happened. But he definitely got away by the skin of his teeth. So well done, Diving Duck. Good battle. Um, if you enjoyed this one, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in our next video.